Let's talk about packing versus non-packing wound care. First off, what is wound packing? This is when a wound is deep or tunneling and sterile dressing material is placed inside the wound to fill it. It's designed to keep the wound moist, absorb drainage, and promote healing from the inside out. So when do we pack a wound? When wounds are deep or tunneling, when they have moderate to heavy drainage, and when they need to heal by secondary intention, meaning they're left open to heal from the inside out. Packing helps prevent the top from closing too soon, which reduces the risk of abscesses or a trapped infection. Some key points about packing is that packing is typically moistened with sterile saline, but not soaked or dripping. You never want to force packing into a space that doesn't exist. You only want to use a single piece of gauze or packing to reduce the risk of retained dressing. And you want to document tunnel depth and don't overpack. We want it loosely filled to promote healing without pressure. Now, when would we not pack a wound? If a wound is shallow, there's no depth or tunneling present. If the wound is dry or has minimal drainage, or if a wound is at risk for trauma during dressing changes. That's a quick overview of packing versus non-packing wounds. If you want more help like this in nursing school, you can find it in the complete fundamentals flashcards. It has a ton of content for your fundamentals class like nursing skills, nursing care, philosophy, ethical and legal principles, IV fluids, and the aging adult. You can find them on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.